7 verse 9. And he dreamt yet another dream and told his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamt a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven star made obedience to me. I want to speak on what I titled Destiny is Calling Me. The kind of dream we have is determining the kind of destiny you carry. Without a big dream, there is no big vision. Your destiny determines how big it is and attracts the battles that come. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not the battle that matters. The one that calls you determines how far you go in life. Ladies and gentlemen, there may be discouragement in the road of process to destiny. But I come to let you know, in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2, the Bible said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. Ladies and gentlemen, look unto Jesus and
is, is his wife to be. I'm seeing this picture literally in his room. I'm seeing his friend, that picture that you are sitting on. I'm seeing him, I'm seeing this picture. I'm seeing him putting it in every time when he wants to sleep. He puts mouth on his mouth and puts mouth on your mouth. That will love you so much. This is Mount Zion Tabernacle Ministry, and my name still remains blessing the very son of the prophet, Pastor Courage Gabriel. In Mount Zion Tabernacle Ministry, today is 29th of September 2021, and here with me is our sister who our father prophesied to through the leading of God. And sister, please, what is your name? Telsi. Ma, please, oh, how was today's service? Because I was very, uh, uh, should I say, very excited to be today. How was today's service? So very excited to be today because the first time I've ever seen my life, anything where you said today is a good thing in my life. Exactly, 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 exactly. Okay. As he, yes, yes, as you said, Papa Professor told you, so we want to know, was everything Papa said was saying, was they true? It's true. Everything was true. true. Wow, thank you very much, man. I am very happy to, to see you and to meet you. I hope you will be with us next time, man. Yes, I'll see you on Friday for the right Okay, thank you very much, man. We are very glad to meet you. Okay, thank you. Good evening, ma. Uh, with me, have you asked Miss Bell, wonderful sister? I really love this woman so much. So, ma, please, how was today's service, ma? So, this service was superb, was awesome. It has never been like this. The the the, the anointing of God really poured onto this service. I am a proud witness. Wow, Ma, please, we want to ask before we quickly go. How, oh, what advice do you have for the viewers that are watching us about Montanyo Tabana Ministry? Okay, my viewers, I'm advising you as a witness. I've been in this ministry for the past four years plus, if I'm not mistaken, and the grace of God upon my life through our pastor has been really really great in my vocation in my business everything about me so my advice for the viewers those persons that are watching us if you don't have a home church you can connect they say distance is never a barrier you can connect to the grace of pastor courage gabriel and you see your life shall never remain the same again in jesus name Amen. thank you very much my Jesus, so much, so much she's one of the person that inspires me the most so mommy please oh, how was today said i want to really hear from you Ah, it was very wonderful. Our uh, Papa really dig deep into the word of God. I want to go I was very really blessed. And mommy, please, we saw how God led Papa to prophesy on you. Mommy, it was everything uh, Papa said, what did you? Very, very correct. Very, very correct. Because all what he said is very true. Because they are, they are really promised me before death. So you see me when he was even prophesying to me, I was smiling. That was to confirm what he was saying. And I've never doubted my papa's purpose. Thank you very much, mommy. Please, mommy, what advice do you have for the viewers that are watching us now? I want the viewers to come and see. Let them come and taste. Let them come and see what God is doing in Man Zion. That God is using our papa to so his glory. As they come, their life will never be the same. Thank you. 